All right, let me go ahead and finally get this video up for the Moji Pro version 2.1. There's basically four things to cover here. I think you're going to like this a lot. And the power is just nuts. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and kind of break it in with some examples here. Uh, what we do now with the 2.1, you can tell it's a 2.1, just sort of a dummy check. Open it, make sure it says Moji Professional 2.1. Okay, and that's what we have now. So when you do that, then it's the 2.1. So let me show you something I'm calling a V3. It's just uh, Moji Demo V3. Remember about the whole Moji Demo? Well, I just created a V3 just so I could show you this example by itself to kind of show off the new functionality. All uh, right, so what we have now, I have two different versions of an index file. One of them has the project tokens, and you probably know what that means. That means if I scroll down in this file somewhere, I will finally see project tokens, okay? And as you know, domain and project refer to what? And if I come up here to the corresponding things I set up, I have project profiles. And to go along with that, I have batch files for the project. The other thing is subdomains. We're going to talk about that in a minute. You're going to love it. So the project profiles is for the index that has the project token. So I just gave it this name. It doesn't matter what name you give these things as long as you link to them the way you want. And what I did was set up two websites, Moji Pro and Moji Dash Pro. So just first, let me open one of these, and it's going to be three project uh, profile so let me make sure I'm there and I am so here's how this works we have a domain and therefore a project and that is the domain and the project tokens that means I could change these to anything I want either one or both and these will read whatever I put in there to create the projects on whatever websites I wanted Okay, under whatever project folders I want. Okay, that's the idea of the project and the domain. Most of you guys are quite familiar with that. The last item that goes with that usually is the menu. And the menu, of course, is read straight off of the CSV file itself. But domain and project specifically come right off of here. As you know, if you have a project, then of course you must have at least one instance of the project token on the page somewhere okay there's got to be at least one in order for the files to even be produced and you guys know that most of you know that quite well all right so this is how we've been doing it for a long time and obviously if I'm gonna upload it to the FTP server I want to make sure to upload it to the same folder the same project as goes with the domain name for the sitemaps so everything physically links up correctly. The files get uploaded exactly where the sitemaps say these files are going to be. And that, of course, is the idea. All right, so I have that. And then I have another version, another website. It looks almost identical, except there's a dash in the name now. So it is a different website, mojipro.com and moji dash pro.com and I got the same thing going on because I'm whatever trying to target the same keywords you'll notice the FTP path goes in through the dom the main domain on that account then the public HTML folder then the subdomain that represents that moji dash pro.com domain and of course the project folder has to match if I'm going to use a project so anyway they're both set up and you guys know all about that so let me walk into what's different here. And the way to see that is to look at a different variation. And the variation is for subdomains. And you guys know what we mean by subdomains, right? We're always talking about that. So instead of having, say, www.domain.com, many folks have asked us, can we create something solid that Google likes a lot more? And that would be, say, forklifts.domain.com. <laughs> Okay, and what that means is this is a subdomain. Now, we've created in the 2.1, not only do the sitemaps actually build all of the links using your desired subdomain, but it also um, does that same thing, the same linkage technique physically on the pages. So Google sees it's not uh, feigned, it's authentic. So not only does your sitemap show the shortcuts to get to these particular folders where the projects are, uh, where all your pages are,
but the pages themselves reference these just as well. Now one version of a, of a subdomain is actually www. And you use that now without a project. Okay. And what that means is now for those of you who always ask, is it possible to create a run without a project? The answer is absolutely now you can. Now you can actually have these things, <clears throat> getting it open again. You can have these things run right on your main domain as such. Just like that regularly straight to the root if you want and that will work because it can now read the domain and not require a profile and again one such subdomain would be this but another such subdomain could be forklifts industrial forklifts dot moji com and if i want to do that then of course what do i need to do I need to make sure that in here it's got a link to whatever that folder is that's assigned to that subdomain and we had a different video on how to create subdomains on the main video page right it's one of those things to learn tips and tricks about how to create these subdomains and we were showing people how to improve the sitemaps directly or make the sitemaps read these subdomains but now they're done literally not just in the sitemaps but physically on the pages as well if that's what you want so all your pages are going to use this for the linkage because this is going to be that domain token and you do not need project tokens anymore so you could do a copy on this a control H you could actually remove every project token you have make sure to remove one of those slashes too or you're gonna wind up with doubled up slashes two slashes after domain all right so and since always a project's gonna have something in front of it you may as well remove the slash project token and just replace it with nothing and it'll take the project tokens completely off I could do it right now <clears throat> but I'm not gonna do it because I have another file for that so I can just show that both work uh, if you're going to do that of course the files still need to get uploaded somewhere because this subdomain that you set up needs to be assigned its own folder and by default in your control panel on host monster it's going to typically ask you what folder do you want to assign it to and by the way that's the same on every server account whatever the control panel is if you want to create a subdomain then you say you type in I want that to be the subdomain and it suggests the same verbiage for the folder does it have to be no you could say but uh, this could be industrial forklifts and maybe that's the association you created in your control panel you want this subdomain to point at this folder it's perfectly fine <clears throat> because here you just make sure you upload your files into the correct folder such that this shortcut technique will point in to the right place naturally okay that works just as well for main domains like this or in the case of the other one if I load the other one uh, it would work for this whole routine as well this might be internet marketing and up here maybe I want to say it that way up here so I do not have a project I do not want a project <clears throat> I want internet marketing right here okay and if I do that I should not also have internet marketing here that's a conceptual error because then that would have to mean what that would have to mean that this is happening down below as far as linkage goes uh, and actually that's not even the best way to point it out it would have to mean this this is simply not the same as this okay there we go now I got it that is the same as what as this got it those are the same things it's just that if we want to use a subdomain then we can kill our project and make our project our subdomain like that and it will work this works as long as I set this association up in my host monster account under subdomains which again we did cover in one of the other videos in the whole training series all right so that will work
And again, if I want to use the subdomain method, okay, if I were to save that, now I need to, because I already set up a different project for those subdomains, okay, subdomain profiles are set up for the subdomains. If I do that, though, I have to have a version of my index.html page that does not have project tokens. So I simply made a copy of my index.html and then renamed one of them to index dash with dash project dash tokens html because I just wanted this one to have the project and so it's got the project tokens and that's for my project profiles and then I also wanted a version of the index page that does not have project tokens in it and that's what I did in this I removed all those project tokens there is no project it's only domain slash and it goes right into whatever it's going to go into including the menu option wherever I have that which probably is in the bottom of the page yeah for the sitemap for instance okay domain slash menu slash sitemap dot html and this way domain gets to be whatever I put in that first tab including the subdomain. So this really is reading that whole thing from http colon slash slash whatever dot something dot com or dot net or dot org or whatever. And that is the domain. That means the subdomain will work whether it's www dot or no www dot or there's a subdomain in there. You know, http colon slash slash forklifts dot domain dot net or org or com and then menu of course is menu comes right off the csv file you guys know all about it all right and that works perfectly for the whole subdomain routine so i set my project profiles to read from this and just to show you that's all i did really is make copies of these and adjust them Okay, project profiles. See how it references the index with project tokens.html, but it uses the same var sheet because that's what I needed. And it's that's because it's going to a project and it's going to upload to a project. And I did the same with both of these, my other domain too, in the project profile. So again, it references the index with project tokens, same CSV sheet. And it's going here also into a project and it's going to upload to the project. So you kind of only it does it on the subdomain, right? All the way through. Okay, so you see that. Now comparing that to the other one, just to make sure you're clear on it. This is my subdomain profiles. Okay, so when I open one of these, and I should have just left that open and navigated to it by loading what I want. You know, it references the regular index.html that I created that has no project tokens whatsoever. The same CSV file, because it can, it's all going to be the same basis for this run. And it goes to this subdomain. This acts like the domain token, all of it, all by itself. This gets to be that domain token. There is no project right so there's no project token on the HTML page either okay but when it uploads just keep in mind of course it's not uploading to some kind of a subdomain you can't do that with FTP you upload to your domain and your public HTML if you have one then your subdomain if you have one of those in this case but not in this case this case mojipro.com is the main one and then it goes right into the folder where the files need to go because this is where the files are that this points at okay so the match just has to be a logical match it has to work just realize that if you do not see a slash up here then there is no project and therefore this cannot have a project either right there cannot be project tokens here that's a mismatch you're gonna wind up with a mistake if you put a project in there but of course that is the project folder for FTP and so it is absolutely necessary to put it here this is where the files must be physically uploaded to so do not confuse this with this this is always used for all your sitemaps and your internal page linking down here this is not read it, it does not read domain or project from down here 
this is only for FTP purposes to upload to the right place. That's it. That's just the doorway to the right place where the files go. Okay? So there's that part. Okay, and taking it one step further, the coolness about all of that is my project is set up separate from my subdomain. So if I want to do batch files, guess what? I created my project files or whatever, my batch files for the project in one folder that I'm just calling it project batch. And it's got the little sleep program in it. So one of these guys can, I forget which one, sleep 10 while it waits for the other one to produce 100 pages first. You know, something like that, sleep 10. So I can hit both these buttons one after the next, which is easiest if you move it over. Because your, your command prompt boxes will probably show up in here somewhere. So if you move it over, you can just go click, 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 click for all the domains you have. Okay, and we covered that in earlier videos. You guys probably know it well. Then I created my subdomain. And the only difference, of course, is which profiles it's pointing at. So if I look up here in my project and we edit it, it's pointing at the three project profiles and then the profiles themselves. So the ones in that folder number three, which is the project profiles folder, the way I set all this up just for readability. I like putting numbers at the beginning of folders if I want them in a certain order so that they don't um, so so that they don't go um, alphabetically. If I wanted this and that and this and that to be separated because I want the batch files together separate from the profiles, well I still got to start with project batch, subdomain batch, or at least I did then project profiles, subdomain profiles. Easiest way to keep all these in order, of course, is to put a number at the beginning so I can number them the, in the order I want and they show up in the way I want, okay? And then subdomain edit points at the, at the profiles that are in this four subdomain profiles, okay? That's the only change. Everything else about the coding is identical because everything else is identical except this is set for sleep 20 instead of sleep 10. Why waste 10 seconds when I know that only 100 pages on my test is going to take like 10 seconds or less? <laughs> All right. Now, here is a glitch. Let me let you know now because there is a glitch and we'll probably have it fixed in the 2.2. As a matter of fact, we're working on it now. We might even just come up with a new 2.1 and have everyone download that. It'll still be 2.1, but it'll just fix it. Here's the glitch. If I want to run my subdomain batch, and I hit these things to run. Let me see, it has no sleep command. That one does. Let me try the other one. Nope. All right, if I run this to actually make it run, it's gonna open and it was, oh, I did something different with it. <laughs> That's right. It wasn't gonna run. Yep. Oh, of course I go to show you something. Here's what I wanted to say. The subdomain batch files we're not understanding how to process the files if they do not have a project in them. And we've been monkeying with it, trying to get it right. So I may actually have it correct. Let me just make sure it's pointing in the right place. Four subdomain profiles, edit, four subdomain profiles. And if I go in there, just kind of dummy checking. Uh, okay, if I, well, I could open with notepad and look at it that way, and I might see it that way. And I can see the domain name is not got a project. So there's no project. That's true. And then on the sub, just make sure I did that as well. And I can see it also has no project. It's just the domain name has the subdomain, but not the project. All right, well, fine. If it's going to work, it's going to work. Like I say, it's still kind of a bug. So you may find your batch files don't process out the subdomain versions. When I was doing it before, I got errors in my log, and there is such a thing as a log. You can go to your computer documents, and there is actually a, if I haven't pointed it out before, I think I did, Moji Pro Logs folder in your documents. And if you go there, it keeps a text version of your logs and their date timestamp so you can know where you're at. And if you open them, they say different things just depending on what's going on. And I think, yeah, there's even a misspelling in there, but we don't care. And they just sort of go through and explain different things as they go. And sometimes you get, at the bottom, it tends to summarize by telling you if projects are done. Except I didn't do anything recently except hit some buttons. So I think it's just reading without actually processing anything.
Ah, it's just processing local files. All right, never mind. Whatever the case, if there are errors, then they're going to show up at the bottom. It's going to say couldn't find something or there's an error or it didn't work. Or it will say all your files uploaded successfully if you're uploading all this stuff. Okay, so there's that. All right, so let me get off of that one. And um, just out of sheer curiosity, let me see what it was doing with the runs on that particular batch. Now I'm getting sidetracked kind of for fun. <laughs> view source and oh we got it it got it it got it Ooh, hoo, hoo. oh by the way this is what I wanted to say it does the internal linking completely on the pages it generates now obviously I need to upload the supporting folders and I'll show you why in a second um, but look here's the subdomain and then the domain and then the regular menu folders it creates because I'm using a menu or if it's not creating that just the regular folders is creating from the URL structures with or without the menu anyway right but it's doing it all the way down so for Google this is awesome Google loves seeing this because it's true we're not just saying and that's what I want to say we're not just saying moji-pro.com slash internet dash advertising slash cataracts we're truly using the subdomain physically within the page so we're saying they are actually meant to be treated this way the pages are honest to the links the subdomains and the pages are honest the sitemap says that's where the pages are and the physical pages are saying that's where the pages are that's what's completely cool about our subdomain routine we created here okay but what is the flip side there is you could call it a bug it's not a bug it's just we haven't got a fix for this that makes sense yet unless we create a new spot for domain here's the thing if we view the source and we look for something like a JPEG file or as you know on this particular project I put all of my stuff inside this template folder so this weird template folder I just looked on Google and made sure there's no one using a folder with this name so I wouldn't accidentally override anything or dump files into something but everywhere where it uses the supporting folder especially for pictures and stuff here let me just do it this way this is the easiest way to find find dot jpeg jpg for example okay because you know it's probably in an images folder that's cool and then there's also a CSS file somewhere there it is and that is probably because of the way I arranged it I put all that stuff inside my template folder so I can just upload one folder with everything in it and then this can link to all of that but as you know that's not the right path for the the main style.css right it should just be the root http colon slash slash moji dash pro dot com or www dot moji dash pro dot com slash template because this is in the root and that's where all these files are these and all my image files and everything else from down below so this is clearly a broken link that's why this page is not looking right because it's these images and stuff are not pointing at the right place as a matter of fact I can right click hit properties on any of those images and I see the mistake instantly that is not there there are two easy ways to deal with this one of them is wherever the folder really is which is like moji-pro.com slash internet dash advertising on my FTP if I were to go there okay that way you can get a visual on this as well 